What up guys, uh, Johnny here with, um, since I finished all the videos um, regarding my characters in Diablo 2, I thought I'd upload one video uh, regarding um, CT uh, in Diablo 2, literally teleporting almost two screens away, like in some, in, like you actually can teleport like two screens in certain direction with one teleport. Um, without using a window to do it and the way you do this is you have to do it in window mode in Diablo 2 you open Diablo 2 in window mode and uh, you use a program called cursor lock um, to do it um, cursor lock is you know it's a it's a safe program it doesn't do anything literally it's not like don't get me wrong that oh my god it's a hack or something it's it's a completely legit program that is used for all types of games and um, it all it does is just it captures your window within the you know it captures the window the the mouse within the window of a specific program it doesn't need to be Diablo 2 it can be anything else literally so it's not made for Diablo 2 specifically it's just made to capture your window in a game all right that's all it does so you will never get banned for it or or anything like that um, and this is in reference to Glad Wrapper, because if you're using Glad Wrapper, you would say, "Oh yeah, but I don't need cursor lock." Glad Wrapper has the option of, um, you know, of opening, uh, of of locking my mouse in my window perfectly. Like it's very easy. I mean, yes, it does it, but with Glad Wrapper, you can't do the thing that I'm gonna try to show you that is possible with the normal way without glide wrapper so let's just start off it, sh it should be a pretty quick video so literally uh, first of all let me show you how you have to, how you can open Diablo 2 in window mode okay so you go into your uh, computer you go into your local disk program files Diablo 2 and you find your shortcut okay you right click on your shortcut properties and uh, actually, no, right. Mm, nope, this is not the shortcut. This is the execution. So, like a shortcut, okay? This is the shortcut. You go into the shortcut section. I mean, it will open it, uh, the shortcut section. And there you go, you have a target here, okay? And in the target, I already have uh, this command for window mode, all right? That's the command that you need to use. I forgot the, you know, the how you say this, uh, this thing this thing I forgot how it's pronounced like what's the name for it but literally all you do is after the exe you you have a space uh, you you add a space and then you you type this with W that's it and then you save you you apply and ultimately what happens is your game opens up like so so you get a window right let me actually close this you get a window um, Second thing you do is you enlarge the window, okay? So, bibbidi babbidi boo, <laughs> it becomes a big window, okay? It enlarges itself to your screen and it becomes a larger window. Now, the second part is using cursor lock. So, let me go here and let me find cursor lock. So, I already have cursor lock, I've installed it and everything. So, you come here, I'm just gonna show you how you set it up. So, what this will do is it will create a shortcut that you will activate once you once your program is loaded so once Diablo 2 is loaded this will create a shortcut which I will have to click once Diablo 2 is loaded for it to lock my mouse in the window as you can see right now look I can I can go in and out of my window of Diablo 2 all the time so you go here, it will open this default shortcut thing. You don't need to worry yourself with, with any of those here. And then you come here and you, you click on the lock program. Then you find your Diablo 2. You go into your C, program files, Diablo 2, and you go in the execution of game.exe. You collect that, you select that. And then the next thing you need to do is go lock region. And then all you do, is you say lock interior window interior okay if you do, if you just put window it would lock everything within this window so you will be able to lock minimize and whatever your program from here but it's not good enough it's not good like this because with during a duel or something you might accidentally close your game that way 
but if you do interior you will never be able to reach the minimize and uh, uh, close uh, buttons so it will literally lock everything under the the window itself like the, just the interior it's self-explanatory and then all you need to do is just create shortcut okay select the desktop or whatever select your area and there you go you have the, you can close this now so all it is is uh this is the shortcut for it okay so right now as you can see i click into the game and i can always go outside of my screen okay so let me go and just double click this all that happens is there you go it locked my window so right now i can't go outside okay no matter how much i want i can't go outside the only way i can go outside is with alt and tab and then i can just do other stuff right so let's go into a game real quick right all this does is it locks your window right everything is perfectly fine exactly the same as glide wrapper glide wrapper would do exactly the same thing okay with the difference a very significant difference that i don't know if some people have noticed or they haven't or i don't know but it's a very significant thing so literally uh for people that don't know seating is referred to opening a window and then teleporting with the window so it literally adds another portion of like half a screen literally as you see the distance between this and this this is added to your teleport so literally you don't port here you're gonna port half a screen more so literally as you can see normally i should port here to the like normally i should port right like right at the beginning of this all right with the ct however look at this i've ported slightly much more so you can port you know you can port further distances using a ct this way and this way as well right but to be able to do this type of thing you have to use, you have to open this window okay which for me personally is very disturbing like i don't want to you know i don't want to have to open a window to port you know uh, a large distance to one side for example it's very disturbing to like you see it moves my character it's very like visually it's it's very disruptive i don't i don't really like this so what i figured out like that's that was long long time ago what, what i figured out is literally uh when you lock your window you open your game in a window mode and you enlarge it and then you lock it with cursor lock what happens is that you're right you see my left side of the screen no matter how much i want to port away from it like further i can't all right you see i poured every time i port the specific amount that i was supposed to port but look what happens on the right side of the screen do you see that i literally ported like i can't see the tree okay i can't see this tree but i can literally port beyond the tree on the right side if i force my mouse if i force my mouse i can port beyond the tree so I can literally port like almost two screens away uh, with just one teleport, okay? You see? Very far in the distance. And normally to do this type of thing, you would have to, you know, port with a window. Like this, window open. But this disrupts me. So like in order for me to like fluently just move around and then port somewhere to the side, you know, I can do it without having to open any window. Um, that will normally disrupt me and uh, yeah it's it's pretty much it yeah but the only problem is that you can only do it on the right side but it's very efficient as soon as you know uh, as soon as you get a hang the hang of it pretty much you have to condition your opponents to be on your right side and you can literally surprise them with a you know with a surprise jump on them very occasionally like you can actually as soon as like uh, when you get good with it you can actually just almost judge the distance that you will port you almost ju judge exactly where you port so often you can actually just almost port exactly on them or literally on them with like an off-screen teleport and it looks like a hack that you've done it like this but it's not a hack it's just the way diablo 2 window mode works and the command for window mode is legit it's from blizzard itself that's how they've made it so and the enlarging of the window is ex legit as well so it's nothing to do with you hacking the game or anything it's just the game is made that way it just happens to bug itself on the right side of the screen so you can teleport more so pretty much this is a, a way of seating without having to open a window to to move uh, you know to port 
uh, you know, more distance with a more distance and uh, it allows you to surprise your opponents. It's very crucial in PvP. Uh, you know, once you master this, uh, it's it's very nice. It can give you a good advantage over some players and. Um, you know, if other people have it, they can also, you know, if other people know about this and, and they use it, it's, you know, it's anybody can use it. It's not like it's exclusive to me or something. So, you know, it's a, it's just adds a variety to the gameplay that you can actually surprise somebody. And you, you actually have to get good at it because, you know, just simply judging, you have to be able to judge where the other person is, you know, to be able to, to port properly onto them or near them exactly where you want it to so this comes with time however but yeah that's pretty much it so this video is just all about that all about allowing yourself to lock your mouse with cursor lock but still on the right side it retains this you know this CT ability that you can port further than you normally than you're normally allowed to uh, obviously you can't see where exactly you're porting but again with time it comes you know it, it will you will be more comfortable porting because you will have much more um, you know you will know exactly where you're gonna port or like very very nearly exactly where you're gonna port so it will it will give you a very good uh, you know it will give you an opportunity to create very nice uh, situations for yourself to to kill an opponent from off screen if they don't expect it. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. And literally, you can't do that with Glide Wrapper. If you go into Glide Wrapper and you lock your game the same way you do with Cursor Lock, you will lock your game on Window Mode exactly the same way, only that the right side will not be bugged. So. Glide wrapper will lock it so that you will never be able to lock this like the the this distance, okay? This this big distance. You will always be able to lock exactly the same as here, like just the normal intended amount. So that's why glide wrapper uh, is not good for using your you know for locking your mouse because it doesn't allow you to do this on the right side. That's why uh, you know this is different. And I'm gonna link. Uh, put a link in the description of the video with the cursor locked uh, you know where you can go and get cursor lock and yes again um, just to clarify it's not a hack or anything Blizzard will never ban you for this and it's literally intended for all types of games it's not for Diablo 2 in, in particular it's just for all types of games like GTA and all other games that you can play on uh, you know in a window mode like to get better graphics because like uh, in window mode you get better you know uh, less pixelated graphics uh, in, in, and the game runs better like for me personally look the game in window mode runs in 200 fps in in full screen the game is is maxed at uh, 60 fps so right now my game runs better in window mode like my mouse is faster uh, that's why i'm using window mode because uh, in in uh, full screen I can't really make it so that my mouse is you know good enough like right now my mouse is very very fluent to me uh, in window mode when I go to full screen it's very sluggish I can never play very well in window mode with you know it's very sluggish I'm not used to it so uh, yeah 200 FPS is a huge difference to 60 FPS uh, for the mouse in particular so that's why I'm using um, uh, window mode. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Hopefully this helps uh, some of you. And uh, yeah, take care everyone. And if I if I remember to do some other video, like with something else that is g generic and it's very, uh, you know, it's helpful for PvP or something, I'm going to share it. So stay tuned, guys. And have a good evening, everyone.